How do you build a legacy, one that creates better futures for those who serve? You have to work tirelessly for it, as the Royal British Legion has done for the past 100 years. It starts with understanding the challenges veterans can face, like those returning from the First World War who were suffering from tuberculosis. There was no medical support for this terrible disease at the time, so we created hospitals where TB could be treated. With understanding comes insight. When a doctor wanted to create a competition for wounded veterans after the Second World War, we saw potential and funded the initiative. The Stoke Mandeville Games was born in 1948. But those wounded ex-serving personnel needed more than sport. That's why we went on to campaign for the Disabled Persons Employment Act. It passed in 1944, helping everyone with a disability to get the support they needed to find work. Legacy isn't built on just one thing. And it doesn't stand still. As the world has changed in the last 100 years, so have the needs of the armed forces community. In response, the RBL has worked continually, helping it serving personnel into homes and employment, campaigning tirelessly for their rights and making sure their contribution is never forgotten. As TB hospitals became some of the foundation blocks of the NHS and the Stoke Mandeville Games became the Paralympics, we didn't stop there and went on to support the families of athletes taking part in the Invictus Games. Because we saw that the armed forces community still needed that sense of family, belonging and identity. Legacy doesn't dwell on success. It's about looking forward, seeing what is needed and making it happen. You have to keep working for it. Keep sowing the seeds for the generations to come. For 100 years, the Royal British Legion has worked tirelessly to build better futures for the armed forces community. Join us for the next 100 years. Thank you.